After Finland closed its border with Russia, Estonia noted an increase in traffic through checkpoints on the border with the Federation. According to the Estonian Border Guard, a group of illegal migrants from Russia has already tried to enter the country. Tallinn said that it was also ready to close the border if the flow of illegal migrants increased. We are dealing with a hybrid attack, and the closure of Finnish border checkpoints certainly affects us. Now the number of crossings through the Estonian-Russian border has already increased from 4,000 to 5,000. Yves Kalmus, head of the Estonian Border Control Department on the air of a ERR TV and radio company. On November 28, 2023, the Finnish government decided to close all border crossings with the Federation for two weeks. Only the railway crossing points for freight traffic is open. Finland took such a step because of a sharp increase in the flow of illegal migrants from the territory of Russia. According to Finnish border guards, in November almost 900 illegal migrants tried to get to Finland from the Federation. Most of them came from Yemen, Somalia, Syria and Iraq. Russia has been not only um, letting through uh, migrants or third country uh, citizens without valid documentation um, over the border to, towards Finland, but also they have been mobilizing people um, to access Finland and the European Union uh, through that route. Um, we consider this uh, to be a hybrid operation by Russia and we have responded accordingly now actually just a few moments ago we decided to close the entire border, um, all border crossing stations towards Russia in order to signal strongly that we can't accept um, this phenomenon to take take place. The isolation of Russia continues. Germany has decided to close the consulate general in Kaliningrad from November 30th, 2023. Consular and passport issues in the district of the Consulate General in Kaliningrad are now supervised by the Consulate General in St. Petersburg. While visa proceeding is handled exclusively by the visa department of the embassy in Moscow from the website of the Consulate General of Germany. In April 2023, Berlin declared more than 20 Russian diplomats persona non grata. In May, the German foreign ministry announced the closure of four or five Russian consulate general in Germany, as well as three of its four representative offices in the Federation. Following Germany, other EU countries expelled Russian diplomats. And on November 30th, Bulgaria refused to let Russian foreign minister Sergei Lavrov plane path through. He was traveling to North Macedonia for an annual OSCE meeting at the level of heads of diplomats diplomatic missions. As a result, he had to fly to Skopje via Greece. The thing is that in addition to Lavrov, Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova was on board. The Bulgarian foreign ministry stressed that Russian diplomats were under sanctions. The fact that Mr. Lavrov can travel is due to the exceptions given to him specifically to participate in the two-day forum. Maria Gabriel, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Bulgaria, in a comment to Bloomberg. According to the head of European diplomacy, Joseph Borrell, the Russian foreign minister's participation in the OSCE meeting is an opportunity to once again convey to Moscow the position of Europe, which condemns Russia's war against Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Kristina Dombrovska, UATV News.